Hi everybody, I am Lady Stars and Fire, and this is our weekly reading for March 7th until 14th, and before I go into the runes that I use every week, I'm going to give you all ways I give you the information that Spirit gives me in advance to that. Now, the first thing I have to start off with is, you know how sometimes you get that gut feeling, that nauseous feeling, this isn't a good thing. And sometimes that's very true and accurate. But sometimes, just sometimes, we start to realize that that gut feeling that's a bit nauseous, that you, you're just not really sure about, isn't a bad thing at all. But what it really is, is fear of success. This is one of those weeks. And I'm being warned to warn you in advance that if you're getting that kind of nauseous feeling and that gut feeling that this may not be good, you might want to sit back and reevaluate that. Because it may be that you're finding this week that the situation isn't that at all, but that you can have the success you want in whatever it is you're wanting in life and that you can achieve it. Just sometimes we're too comfortable staying right where we're at because if we move forward, that means change. That means we have to deal with the change and we're not always prepared for that. So when you find that happening this week, I'm being told, do not let fear of success stop you. Evaluate it. But do not let fear of success stop you. See, I always tell everybody when I do the readings that if you're watching my readings, it's I'm not giving you a reading of what's going to happen. What's going to happen is going to happen. And for everybody, all of you have your own individual things that are going to happen. But the situations typically come out somewhat of the same as far as the guidance given. Now... The reason I tell everybody, I'm not telling you what's going to happen this week. Spirit tells me because I work in healing. When it happens, when you notice these things happening, this is how to best deal with it. To best move you forward. To best heal your situation. Heal yourself. So you can move forward in a positive way, depending on whatever the situation is. Because each one of us have different individual situations. Now, with all of that being said, this week we also have a new moon. On the 8th is a new moon. It's a perfect time for those new starts. Like I said, don't let fear of success stop you. It is a perfect time to start new goals, new beginnings, new starts of anything in your life because it's the new moon. Now, on top of that, it's on the 8th. And I'm being given repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly eight, which is also the infinity symbol. It goes on forever. Infinity. So your new moon is starting on the eighth, which is also the infinity symbol just turned. See, they talk to me in symbols all the time. Spirit just has a different way of talking to me, I guess. Um, but... You've got your new moon starting with the infinity symbol on the 8th. Right there tells you a lot. And along with that, I'm being given what looks like um, lines. And I'm going to explain it to you. Lines for me is when they go up and down, this is spiritual. Whether it is spiritual growth or lack of spiritual growth. Going up, going down. Or if it's going side to side... For me, when they're speaking to me, this is a physical nature. This world, physical nature. Um, I'm being given the lines going both up and down. But more like in, out. In, out. And what they're doing is they're coming in one line of yellow, one line of green, right next to each other. And for me, yellow is optimistic. It is joyful. It is enlightenment. It is you know, learning. And green is of heart. And green is growth. It is of psychic nature. It is good with nature itself. And it is change. So, 
together the yellow and the green side by side coming in and out of what they're showing me is creative heart and good communication. So it is a perfect time to ask your guides to help you understand exactly what it is we're going for so you can move the way you want so you don't have to deal with fear of success. Then I'm being given one very important tool. I have to write all of this stuff down because I get too much and I can't keep up if I'm doing it right off of the bat. Um, and I'm being told right again, right now, they're saying infinity, infinity, infinity. So it's important for you to realize what's going to happen this week might have a lot to do with what's going to be continuing on. Universe is abundant. It is abundant and it is generous. But understand, abundance and generosity is not only positive, and it can be, but it is also of karma being paid back. So, when I say karma being paid back, that is, what you put in is what you put out. It's the threefold, fi threefold situation. What are you putting out into the world? Because that's going to be coming back now. And if you're putting out good, then you're going to be getting rewarded. If not, you're going to feel what they're teaching in your lessons so that you can correct it. While it is abundant and it is generous, I am being told to remind you. Don't expect the universe to do all the work for you, though. As far as the fear of success and moving forward, I am being told while it is abundant, and it is generous, sweetie. Understand, it is your responsibility. Sorry, I was being told, use your heart and creative growth right now. That's what they just came in and said. Use your heart and your creative growth right now. It will help you. But I am being told also that it is your responsibility to set the foundations you wish to move into your life. Into that infinity. If you do not set those foundations, that is your responsibility. While the universe is abundant and generous and can bring you prosperity, it is your responsibility to set those goals. Harvest well. It's the cycle of your life, of, of what you're creating, and the relationship with your environment. Remember, it is seasons. And again, I'm being brought back to creative heart and growth. Now, along with that, I'm being also told, do not forget your four elements. Your four elements are important for this, what you're changing in your life. Because it's going to help set that foundation for what's important to you in here. And your four elements are simple. It's all about nourishing yourself so that you can then nourish your, your life and others. And if anything is pulling away from that nourishment, there's a problem. You have to be... Fine in all four elements, your physical, your emotional, your mental, and your spiritual. Do not let anything diminish them. That's very important. Then, when I was doing runes, because now I'm finally on to the runes for the week, I was getting, I could not even use my rod and night. This little sucker is hot and high in vibrations. Rod and night, if you do not know what rod and night is, I had to pull all of them out of my set. Because I couldn't see past the Rodanite. Rodanite is unconditional love. Love of self. Love of others. Grace. That's your biggest hint this week. Love. Love yourself. Love others. Unconditional love. Grace. And loss of anxiety. Lose the anxiety, baby. It's that simple. You gotta let it go. Now. Into the runes itself, it starts off with two eyes. Two eyes is coming in my Amzonite. And Amzonite is all about truth and honesty and spiritual protection. And Amzonite intentionally, the stone was jumping on me. I mean, like, nee, 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 nee. I mean, jumping on me, like, look at me because I'm what's important this week. Two eyes is the God, the sky. The polar star, polar star. It is order. It is in the air. It is the mineral world. It is honor. It is justice. It is leadership. 
It is analysis. It is your rationality. It focuses on matters that, of inheritance, principle of victory through wisdom and social order of justice. It points to the needs for seasoned approaches right now. It can also indicate the presence of a strong man or a weak man who tries to control others and thinks that that is his strength. So, if that man is coming into your life, be aware. Um, your interpretations, typically, for Tawaz is social order, law, justice, the polar star, personal sacrifices, um, the notion of a independence, order of existence, in which all people belong. It is also cooperating by... Yeah, I'm being told that's not part of it. Um, loyalty, faith, and principle. It's um, your oath. Your oath-taking. It is analysis. It is methods. It is courage. It is planning. It is precision. It is also military action. It's victory in battle. It's weaponry. It's objective judgment. Social discipline. This week you're going to have a lot of discipline, a lot of commitment, a lot of your transformation is going to be taking in through this sacrifice is what I'm being told. And I'm being told of what's not serving you, stop with it now, let it go. This is how we move forward, just stop with it and let it go if it's not moving you, if it's not part of what serves you anymore, it's time to let that go. Um, next is, no, no, that's the last one. Next if is Kinez. It's also coming in your truth and honesty. It's also coming in your spiritual nature, your spiritual protection. Kinez is the torch, craft, cunning, and it's fire. It is your manifestation. It is your character. It is your personality. It points towards matters of creativity of your craft, whatever it is your craft may be. Shows the natural ability through your own efforts. But it indicates the it indicates also balance of cycles. Right now, I'm being told it also has to do with your uh harvest as well. That cycle, your whole cycle of life, your whole season of life. But your creativity also deals with your personal balance, which would be your four elements. Like I said, that's what they started out with, was your four elements. Your emotional, your mental, your spiritual, and your physical. Are you not taking care of all of them? Are you not getting the rest you need? Are you not getting the fun you need? Are you not getting the play you need? Are you not eating right? These things all come in to messing with your creativity. Whether your creativity is sparking or not. That's important right now. Um, it is the ruin of skill. It is your principle of ignition, Kinez is. Creativity expressed in form. It controls us through our inspiration, our knowledge, our capabilities. Um, it is the shaping and the reshaping of events. Transmutation through fire and heat. And because it is a heat element, it is also creativity for your children or with your children or because it is also a heat element, it may be of sexual creativity coming out in your life. Now, lastly, but definitely not least, is coming at a lower vibration and it's coming as a reminder, honey. Othal. Uh, can you see it? Othal is also coming in. Truth and honesty. It's, it's coming in Amsonite. It's truth and honesty, spiritual uh, protection, mainly. Othal is ancestral. It is your property, your heritage, your homeland. It is seeing the larger picture, honey. Not looking at just the picture of what I see right here, right now. It's looking into the future. It's looking past the frame on the wall and at the whole wall. It's seeing the entire picture in your life. Uh, the whole family, the society or nation, so to speak. 
of your life. It is the ruin of your own personal sacred space. Principle of your own personal homeland. Your own inherited wealth. Your own inherited property. Your own inherited power. This is you. You. Nobody can take that away from you. Unless you gave it away. And if you gave it away, it's time to realize only you can get that back. And only you have the ability to give that away. Nobody can take that away from you. This is your home. This is your wealth. This is your property. This is your power. Nobody can have that unless you give it away. And you and you alone are the only one who can own that. It is the home that is you. I wish you so much love and I hope that you have a wonderful week. And I hope that you don't let that gut feeling stop you from moving forward. And I hope that you find the success you want or at least start to move in the direction of the success you want. Hugs and kisses in the wind, everybody. I wish you so much love. You can always check out my website, ladystarsandfire.com, and check out my candles and my necklaces or get personal readings or even the animal readings. There's so much there. I love you. I wish you so much well. Bye.